So, hey, YouTube channel. Um, okay, yeah. My hair's a mess, my face a mess, you know, and I was like thinking, oh, I am definitely putting makeup on before I do this next video. But that is so not important. So I'm throwing that away. And when I feel like I have something to say and the urge, I'm doing it no matter what I look like. Because it is not about what I look like. So this is what um, I am sitting here and this is what I'm getting today about my twin flame. And this is what I want to share. Um, let me turn this down. <clears throat> so, uh, doubt. A lot of people are talking about doubt lately and that is really um, a coincidence because I'm going through that myself in other areas of my spirituality. I'm doubting the communication I'm getting from energies and doubt is a disease. It, so, um, it's, I, but does it matter where it comes? It's like a fear thing. It's like, it's too hard to handle to, to, to trust ourselves. The twin flame journey is all about trusting yourself, all about going on the inside, discovering your soul and your heart. It's like, go, it's a journey inside of yourself. It's like, I always, I heard this in church when I used to go to church and I use this a lot. Your soul is like a house. And, or an abandoned house or an empty house or an, a, you know, abused house, a, a abandoned house, okay? A neglected home. And there's, there's rooms that are dirty and dark and um, need work and need the light and need to be cleaned and, and need to be safe and need to be warm and inviting and loving. And so, so in your journey into your soul, which that's life and that is absolutely the twin flame journey you will come into dark places dark rooms that need you know the curtains drawn and need to be cleaned and need to be um you know made inviting and warm in your place safe um so trust in yourself is essential it's essential in your twin flame journey because trusting yourself and trusting your twin is the same. It is. Your twin is you. You're, you share a soul. It's not a soulmate. Soulmate is a completely different relationship. Your twin flame is an extension of you spiritually. You are spiritually connected. It cannot be severed. It, can, it does not go away. Um, I have three twin flames, but my, the one I'm with now is my forever twin. And how do I know that? I didn't go to somebody and get a reading. How do I know that? Because I journal and meditate and I speak to my higher power and I speak to my spirit guides and my angels and my ancestors and the universe and I get answers and I trust my intuition. I trust my heart and one of the most significant things that happened to me is when, when my twin wasn't talking to me and the pain that that caused, um, made me go inside and I found him there. So whatever is happening with your twin flame is divine and it's what's best for you. It is the ultimate love so don't worry whether they're talking to you or not talking to you because they're going to do what is absolutely best for you. You can trust that. And sometimes not being, not hearing them or seeing them for a time is what's best for you so that you can um, work through and find them in other places and you can work through your house and sometimes you might need to bust in a, a door or a wall or a barricade do you understand there's blockages in our in us 
that we need to be removed. So your twin flame will wake you up spiritually. It's all about your spiritual journey. And um, you consume each other. So your energies do. It's all about energy, not about their personality or their words. Or it isn't. They can say things that drive you insane. And you can fucking adore them. Because it's their, excuse me, it's their energy. So I hear a lot about doubting who your twin flame is and that this person is your twin. I, I, I'm just going to tell you that doubt is going to come. And you can probably, that's probably confirmation that that's your twin. Okay, because that's usually how the shit works. When I doubt stuff, it's usually, that's the truth. What, you know what I mean? Like if something is going to take the time to send you bad energy about it, it's usually the battle. Like we have to remember we're in a spiritual battle. Um, and the and more intense the battle, the bigger the reward or the spoils. And it's always darkest before the dawn. So as things progress in your life, as you get, as you ascend higher and as more blessings come in your finances and in your health and um, you're going to have greater breakthroughs and the, I don't know what it is. It's like, there's a battle there. There's darkness there that you have to slay to get there. So there's a new room in your house and you have to fight. Maybe it's the dust and the bugs and the rats. Just, you know, it's my analogy of a house, an abandoned house, you know. So maybe the battle is you cleaning the house. Maybe the battle, you know what I mean? Maybe the battle is your faith. In life, your faith is always going to get tested. And you cannot go by what you see. There's a 3D world, that's your physical world. And there's a 5D world, and that's your spiritual world. And your spirit, your 5D world is inside of you. It's deep in your heart and soul. So you are manifesting is pulling what is in here out here. Okay, that's manifesting. Here, here. If you're living from here and trying to feed off of what's here, which is in 3D, you're going to be on a roller coaster. And you're going to probably be in a downward roller coaster. Because you can't feed off of the 3D world. Your food is in here. Your food is in the spirit. Your food is in the 5D world. Okay? That's where your faith is. That's where your hope is. That's where your guidance is. Okay? That's where your love is. That's where your source is. Okay? So don't ever go by what you see. You're deeper than that. You're stronger than that. You're called to a higher way of living than that. Um... You know, you pull what you want. You pull love. You pull abundance. You pull strength and dignity and honor. You pull peace. You pull joy. You pull security out of yourself. So we're not secure. As people, we're manipulators. We're um, codependents. We're, um, you know, we're, we act like we're without without guidance and without spiritual forces and, and, and support. And so we're learning to live according to our spirit, which is spirit guides, angels, source. So, so don't always rely and don't rely on other people. It doesn't matter what your twin flame is saying. It doesn't matter what they're doing. If they're rejecting you, if they're running, what that's irrelevant. They love you as much as you love them. Absolutely, they wouldn't be your twin flame. And it can look the opposite. They can say the opposite. It doesn't matter. What matters is how what they're doing makes you feel because it's triggering you. Let all that stuff come up. Let insecurities come up and out. Let triggers come up and out. So what does that mean? That means when they trigger you and you feel gunky, feel it. Get support. Feel your feelings. Process them and get to the other side of them. Because that's all that dirt, 
and rats and poison and emptiness in that house. That house has been broken into, that house has been abused, that house has been abandoned. You have to detox or clean all that negative gunk and dirt out of that house before you can move in. Okay, so that's you, that's your soul. You gotta cry it out. You gotta feel that pain and get to the other side. You walk through it and you get amazing support. Do not go to people for support that are going to blame your twin and criticize your twin and call them a narcissist and tell them they're toxic. We are all toxic and we are learning to detox. Send your love, appreciation, trust, and faith. And above all, security. Be secure. That relationship is guaranteed. That relationship is... It's... If you're a twin, that's that's going to happen. That's, that is unbreakable. Okay? They're not going anywhere. You got to find their, the, your connection with them in spirit, in your heart, in your soul. Okay? Don't worry about what's going on in 3D. Only worry how you feel and how you respond and stay in love stay in hope stay in being secure there is no one like you don't worry about any other person um you know everything that will come up in your twin flame journey is gunk that needs to come out low self-esteem fear expectations pressure none of that can stay you got to let it come up and out and shake it off get rid of it let it go because we are becoming new people your twin flame is healing you that energy is meant to heal you to fill so that you will be who you were created to be whole and complete and you will attract everything into your life that is good that is abundant that is your desire that is your purpose you will attract it you don't have to work towards it you don't have to make it happen you have to let go, let go, surrender, trust. Do not lean on your twin flame. Mm -mm. This is no codependent relationship. Lean on the universe, lean on source, lean on people. Well, don't lean on people, but let source bring you the support that you need. You are always supported. You are always loved. You are amazing and you're doing this. And we are doing this. We are becoming whole. We are healing. We are detoxing. And we are creating a new world. And your twin flame is right there with you. Whether you believe it or not. Or feel it or not. But the quicker you believe it. The quicker you trust in it. The quicker you let go of any negative energy. And you just send love and faith and appreciation and trust. The, the quicker, you know, the better you will feel. The better they will feel. Okay, so doubt will come. It's normal. It's natural, but it's what you do with it. Shake it off. Trust. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Being vulnerable is part of being a twin. It's part of manifesting. It's part of life. You are safe. You are absolutely completely safe and surrounded by love at all times. You can always hit me up. Um, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. You can always leave a comment. I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I know my higher power told me I'm going to change the world with twin flames shit. I, I know, I know my purpose and I know who I am and I'm getting it more and more. It's a journey. So this is my life. Um, energy is my life. So, you know, nobody's bothering me. It's, it's a joy. Love you guys. Keep the faith. Trust your journey. Trust yourself. Trust your twin flame. Trust the universe. Amazing things are coming. Amazing. This is going to be so worth it. Trust me. Amazing shit is coming.